Hi, Steve. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Good. So we're going to try these weekly video chats as the Oscar season heats up, and this is a great week to start it because we're both just back from the Palm Springs Film Festival, and uh, all the stars came to their big gala on Saturday night, and you saw them and I saw them, and you wrote a really interesting piece, I thought, about how Sally Field might have helped her chances in the Oscar race with a speech she gave. Tell us, tell me a little bit, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, um, we she was one of a dozen or a dozen stars who got awards that night, and her speech just killed it. I mean, she was funny, she was sharp, she was self-aware. It was a great reminder of what a strange, amazing career she's had, and it really doesn't hurt to remind voters of that, you know, in this in this crucial period. So I think, you know, I don't know how many voters were in the room, but I think she definitely helped herself. You said that she kind of gave a survey of her career kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, she talked about her first the first day on the set, and the, and the producer said to her, you know, Sally, you can't change your mind. And then she went through her whole weird career and said, you know, never once in 50 years did I ever think of changing my mind. I'm actress, this is who I am. And it was a very touching way to, to sum up a remarkable career. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So we're only uh, three, four days away from the nominations now. How are you feeling about the Best Picture race? I mean... Uh, that quite apart from Palm Springs, I mean, it's been it's kind of an unusual year, isn't it? It's a very unusual year. Usually, you know, in in mid January or, or even early January, we had a pretty good idea of who the front runners are, or at least the top two. Mm. And this year, I don't know. I mean, I you know, I've been thinking for a long time. Well, it could be this, it could be that. You know, I think there are six films that are pretty secure. I, I think Lincoln, Zero Dark Thirty. Argo, Les Mis, Silver Linings Playbook, Life of Pi, those are the front runners. Mm. But as far as who's going to win, you know, I'm more confused than I usually am at this time of year. You know, I know you've been saying Lincoln for a while, and I've been saying no, 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 and I'm starting to be right. <laughs> well, that's pretty interesting. So we're not going to get any closer to know who's going to win Best Picture because there's 10 slots. You're saying you think there's going to be six nominees, or what do you think? Oh, I think there are six pretty secure nominees. I, my guess is there will probably be maybe eight. I don't think we'll see the full ten, but I, I'm guessing that those six get in. I'm guessing probably be the Southern Wild, um, maybe oh, really? Daniel and Shane. I, I think we'll I think we'll have about eight nominees. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to read your predictions that you, what you're going to do in the next day or two, right? up tomorrow and I'll be crossing my fingers until Thursday morning hoping that I, I look small. <laughs> well, we're not that worried about that. Okay, great. Well, we're going to be doing this every week, so we'll be checking in with you on Monday after the Golden Globes, and I can't wait to see how the nominations turn out. Okay, me too. Thanks, Sharon. All right, thanks, Steve. Bye.